Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special and exciting Norwegian Cruise Line webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. The webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Derek Lloyd. Derek has been in the cruise industry since 1995 and has held various roles for multiple cruise lines over the years. First, starting with Norwegian Cruise in 2001 as business development manager for Western Canada, Derek rejoined in 2006 as National and Key Account Manager, where he was eventually appointed Director of Business Development for the Canadian and Northeast U.S. market, which allowed him the opportunity to oversee all sales and business development functions in the region, including contract negotiations, tour operator and consortia account management, and customer relationship development. He is now Vice President Field Sales for the North American market, with responsibility of overseeing the entire field and inside sales region organization. Excuse me. And with that, take it away, Derek. Great. Thank you very much, and I really appreciate it. I've got to say, this is a pretty exciting day for me. Um, I'm actually here in Miami. Uh, I'm normally based remote, so this is really, really great. This is the first time in almost two years that I've been able to come down to Miami, so I've got to say this is, a, this is a pretty neat day to be doing a webinar. I'm actually in our studios. Uh, we actually have a great little studio area uh, right by our main offices, and, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what's going on with Norwegian Cruise Line. Um, I'm going to be going through some uh, information about the uh, Prima, of course, the really brand new and exciting ship we have coming up, talking about our specifically about our entertainment experiences. I know a lot of you were on probably the last webinar that I did uh, for CLIA where I talked about a lot of the um, Deck 8 activities. We've got some new information to come. So, but, but first, let me get into some operational updates. So first of all, we are in the middle of our great cruise comeback. So a total of 11 ships will be in the water by year's end. I think as of right now, we've got eight. This weekend, we'll make nine. And, and for me, that's a really significant milestone because at, at nine ships, that means more than half of our fleet is now in the water. And I had the opportunity of sailing on the Encore uh, in August on her first voyage back to Alaska. And I've got to say, one of the things that really, really stood out for me is the crew. The crew are so happy to be back on board. You know, they, they've had a long year and a half. It, it's, it's what they do. They were so excited to welcome guests. Even though the crew are masked, you can absolutely see their smile. It, it's, it's, really, it's really just an incredible thing. But of course, our, our fleet-wide deployment is, is working in partnership with, our local, with local governments. We're guided by some very robust uh, health and safety protocols that we've developed. Um, you know, we've, we've worked with our, our SailSafe um, Global Health and Wellness Council. This is a really, you know, we've got some very, very robust protocols, science-based, and I can't emphasize that enough. We are making decisions to protect our guests, our crew, and of course, the destinations that we visit. Now, I would recommend for all of you travel partners watching, make sure that you are up to date because things change quickly. That's one of the things that we found since we you know, started our, our fleet launch back in July. Things can change quickly. Um, so uh, individual countries may come up with new or different or changing regulations. You want to make sure that you're up on what those changes are and that you can communicate that to your, uh, to your clients. So the next ships coming online, we've got on Norwegian, or sorry, November 20th, so that this weekend, Norwegian Joy from Miami. Uh, on December 8th, the Norwegian Dawn is returning to Tampa. That's really exciting because that'll be the first time in almost two years that we've sailed from Tampa. And then on the 23rd, right before Christmas, Norwegian Pearl from Miami, and she's actually going to be heading down to the Panama Canal. Now, just uh, another couple important updates. So beginning on uh, January 17th, this was announced just recently, we're actually eliminating the second COVID test that we were asking for clients before they boarded. So previously, we asked for clients to test before they left home. 
we also tested at the pier, we're actually getting rid of that second requirement. So uh, because we are fully vaccinated on board, both um, uh, guests and crew, uh, we've decided that the right thing to do is to, is to move to just the one test. Please, please, please make sure you go to ncl.com slash sale dash safe. That's where all of the new up updated protocols are on board. So the guests are gonna be required to provide a proof of a negative COVID uh, uh, antigen or PCR test. Antigen's the easier one, but it's gotta be a verified test. So make sure that it's not just a home test that they do. Um, they actually have to be verified. Now there are home tests that you can do via video conferencing that can that will be certified, but it does. You do need to make sure that it is a verified third party. So that's two days before boarding in the U.S., three days before boarding internationally. And if you actually go online, we've actually had a really handy chart that essentially says, okay, if you're leaving on a Sunday, you need to have your test done by. Uh, you know, Friday if it's if it's uh, a U.S. port, etc. But make sure that you go there and that you're aware that you're aware of all of those changes. Now, what's really exciting uh, for me, anyway, is we've made a concerted effort to launch itineraries sooner, because we we quite frankly know people are planning further out than they ever have before. So we've actually got more sailings open for sale than any time in our history. We actually just last week launched all the way through almost the end of summer 2024. We have never had sailings available that far out. And for those of you watching, I can say over, and I say it over and over again, where you can succeed is with groups. And the further out you plan groups, the more successful you'll be. So take a look at all of the um, itineraries that we launched. Now I'm gonna talk about them in a little in a little bit. We're also right now, into our Black Friday uh, holiday deals. And again, I'll give you the details on that. But first I wanna to touch on Prima. So as you know, Prima is the first of six ships we've got coming starting in August of 2022. Each subsequent ship is coming out around a year after the other. So we're gonna have a busy six years. I'm gonna first off show you a quick little video. Some of you may have seen this before, but I think it's a great overview of the ship. Introducing your region Prima, the first in a new class of ship, made for the trailblazers and tastemakers, for first-time seekers and explorers of the spectacular, made for you, with more wide open spaces to enjoy the great wide open, rooms that have more room, and service that puts you first. Be the first to discover a new experience at sea. Norwegian Prima, coming summer 2022. I've got to tell you, I am so excited to see the Norwegian Prima when she comes out. She's actually our first new class of ship in I think it's about eight years since we first launched the breakaway. So really, really exciting. And again, now I'm assuming, as I mentioned before, that you've seen the other webinars. So we talked about the outside space. So for one, it, Prima is very much an evolution of our brand. We are really kind of elevating things to the next level. And it's an important thing to understand. One thing which I find quite interesting is that we've actually reduced the size of the ship in terms of guest capacity although the, the actual tonnage is about the same as the breakaway. And so the Prima is gonna offer more space per passenger than any ship in our fleet. We're actually offering more outdoor space of any new cruise ship out there. So, and, and you know, what I think is, is really fantastic is take a look at the image on your screen right now. So much of this space is focused on the outdoors and that's really important. When, when your customers are sailing on a cruise, they wanna feel that connection to the ocean. And when you take a look at all of the new pool deck space area, deck eight with all of the great things with the, the food hall and the infinity pools and the, the, the glass walk, I mean, it really, really does bring the outside to your clients. And also, 
it, it, the, the service level on board the ship is going to be incredible. Out of all of the new ships currently on order by any cruise line, Norwegian Prima is actually offering the highest staffing level of any ship meaning that there's more staff per guest than any other new contemporary ship on the market. And that is going to result in a great experience for your clients. You're, we're essentially looking at almost a two to one ratio, which is very, very high in our, in our market. Now, Prima, as I mentioned, is very much an evolution of our brand. And so we've, we've really, what we've done is we've taken everything that people love about our other ships, like the Breakaway, like the Breakaway Plus class ships, like the, the Bliss and the Encore, and we've really brought it to the, next, to the next level. So the key elements with the Prima, and we keep mentioning this over and over, is space, service, design, and variety. And when we look at the variety of experiences, that's what I'm going to talk about next, because that's the, the, the variety of experiences is something that is really it's a game changer on board Norwegian Prima. So the last time, as I mentioned, that we introduced a new class of ship was April 2013 with the Norwegian with the Norwegian Breakaway class. And again, this is really elevated. That's, that's a term that we're using over and over. We're very much elevating our ships, elevating the brand, and elevating your customer's experience. So in terms of those experiences, first off, there are so many great things on board the ship. So <laughs> take a look, this is the top deck. So you can see a number of different things that I'm gonna be going through in a second, but so the Prima, the Speedway. So as, as I think probably all of you are aware, on the Encore, on the Bliss, and on the Joy, we've got our Speedway racetrack. On the Prima, we're actually moving to a three level racetrack. So this is going to be, this is situated on deck 18, 19, and 20, sort of midship. Um, this is going to be the first time ever we've got a three-level racetrack. And you see some images like that on the, on, uh, of it on your screen. Next up, and this I think is going to be really exciting, is the new Rush and Drop. So these are the fastest slides at sea. And this is the world's first free fall drop dry slide. So get this, it is 10 stories. It's almost 100 feet tall. So you get into this slide on deck 18 and you exit on deck eight. So just imagine ten, a 10 story drop and a slide on board a cruise ship. We've also got dueling sli uh, slides on the starboard side. So you and whoever you're traveling with or somebody else who's just brave, uh, can actually fight for who can get down on these dueling slides the fastest. Next up, we have Bullseye, and I think this is really, really cool. So the idea here is this is a, a sort of a bit of a pub, English pub style experience, So, but it's very, very much focused around the game of darts. So we've actually got a camera tracking system that will automatically calculate the score for the guest playing. So no more, oh yeah, I got it close to the triple 20. I've never done that. Um, tea time, this is another neat ent entertainment option. So this is sort of a supercharged version of mini golf and guests are actually going to be able to enjoy nine interactive holes it's sort of a Vegas style backdrop and um, uh, it, again very tech similar to the darts where the trackers are actually counting out the strokes so again kind of a cool little concept Next up, we have the Prima Speedway Bar. So this is actually located at the very aft of the ship. Um, and this is adjacent and beneath the racetrack. So sort of mid-aft, I should say. Great little area overlooking the ocean, as you can see. Next up, and this is probably where I'm going to spend a lot of time, is the Galaxy Pavilion. Galaxy Pavilion, if any of you were on the Norwegian Joy or Encore, the Galaxy Pavilion is such a cool, cool concept. So simulators, video games, all sorts of neat little areas. There's a top golf swing uh, suite at speed. There's a, a flying theater simulator. And then get, get some of this. So for example, we've got the Play Cube. This is an immersive experience where you're in a 90 degree digital world, 90 degree digital world. So you can see on all on in all angles. And you can take on solo challenges, or, and I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for families, you can actually team up with others. So it's a, sort of a, a great game experience. There's also the Star Sim. So this is a sort of a rider space race type pod. Uh, probably can't say Star Wars. 
Um, but anyway, whether you're 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 uh, piloting, you're one of the engineers, it's really kind of a cool ex, uh, a sci-fi type of experience. And then we've got the World Explorer, and this is a four per, four person. Um, uh, simulator with the Top Golf swing. So again, lots and lots of stuff to do um, for everybody on board, especially families. Now, taking a look at the Aqua Park and main pool. So uh, this is going to be our first tidal wave water slide uh, deck. We've got the kids' Aqua Park. We've got a huge LED screen. So think of all the opportunities that we might have there. And then the infinity hot tubs. And, and we talk about the infinity pools quite a bit on board the ship. So on deck eight, where we showed at the beginning of the Prima uh, um, uh, section of this presentation, on deck eight, we've got multiple infinity pools right over the edge. We've also got the Haven has an infinity pool. We've also got infinity hot tubs. And then we've got the waves pool bar. Of course, a great bar up by the pool area. Um, for uh, days at sea in particular. Now the Vibe Beach Club, we have this on a number of our ships and I really, really like this concept because again, with the Infinity Hot Tubs, it's got a really cool kind of relaxing waterfall feature, its own dedicated bar. And now this area does carry a surcharge, but because of that, it tends to be a little more relaxed, a little more uh, uh, quiet than maybe some of the other areas. So if you've got clients who are looking for sort of an oasis to get away, this is a great place for it. All right, now, in terms of entertainment, entertainment, those are activities, so now we're gonna go on to entertainment. In terms of um, entertainment, we've got a ton of new stuff coming on board this ship, and, and uh, the, I'm excited about all of them. There's a couple very much. So, so we're actually gonna be doing, the theater is set up in a really particular, uh, in, a, in a way that allows us to use it for multiple activities, and this is a really important thing because we're gonna be able to do, for example, something called, a show called Light Balance. That's one I'm really looking forward forward to you can you can go on YouTube and check them out it's a really neat show I think for everybody um, so this is they you you might have seen them on America's Got Talent now if you come on if you come on to play the price is right um, uh, this is the first um, uh, theater that we're actually gonna uh, transform a three-story theater to a Vegas style nightclub uh, you can also, we're also doing a improv, and I think I've got a picture of that coming up. Now, our big show on board, as you know, we do big shows on all of our ships, Donna Summer. So we're actually doing Donna Summer the musical, and this is a headline show. So this is uh, going through Donna Summer's life, uh, from, her, from her beginnings to her rise to stardom. Uh, and this is actually the same producers uh, that brought us Jersey Boys. So if you've been on our ship and watched Jersey Boys on board, it's a Broadway Tony nominated 75 minutes. So it's basically the full show that you would get if you were on Broadway. Now, the game shows I mentioned, so we're gonna be doing Price is Right. We're gonna be doing uh, Supermarket uh, supermarket Sweep, Press Your Luck. So for anybody who loves those old school style game shows, uh, we're actually gonna be doing those on board as well. And then next up, Sensoria. Now this one is gonna be really, really cool for people that can stay up late, which isn't me. Um, so this is gonna be a Vegas style nightclub event. So the sort of a, think Coachella, Woodstock, Burning Man, all the light shows going on. Uh, it's gonna be a mix of live DJs, uh, pre-programmed nights. And of course, when you've got a live DJ, the great thing there is they can they can get a census to the crowd. They can play what the crowd is responding to. And I find those are so great because they really, really pick up on the on the energy from the people that are attending. So we've actually there got a multi-story video wall. Um, a, sh a chandelier, you can sort of see it in the picture there. It's going to be fantastic. And of course, a VIP section. Now in the theater and club, so this is the Prima Theater and Club, this is, uh, uh, this is the one that I was mentioning earlier where we've got, it's a new concept. And the idea here is it's de deck six, seven, and eight. And this is gonna be the one where we can use it in so many different ways because partially we've got retractable seating. 
So uh, uh, by retracting the seating, you can make it into a larger open space versus when we're doing a show and we want all of the seats ar around. So it's really a great multi-use. And that's one of the things that I think is going to be really interesting because on a lot of other ships, the theater can be an underutilized space. By having this be able to fulfill multiple functions, we'll be able to use it for more um, a greater variety. And again, if you remember back, variety was one of the things very specifically about the Prima. Just getting into a lot to, to a few of the last things before I get into some of our promotions. So on deck seven, so Sid Norman, so this is a tribute to sort of the grandfather of the Rock of Ages playwright. Uh, Chris uh, Dorenzo, and modeled after the influential rock houses like CBGB's, the Rainbow, and the Fillmore. So, you know, for for people who like to sit around and listen to a live band, this is really going to be a great place for it. It's going to be, you know, there's going to be tons of. It's all again rock and roll themed, um, tons of stuff going from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, maybe we'll get some 90s stuff in there, but again, pretty much focused on on the on the rock uh, the rock ages. Um, so again, variety, variety, variety. Now an improv at sea. Now we've got a comedy club on multiple ones of our ship. This is sort of taking it to the next level. So this is on Dick's deck seven midship. Uh, this is sort of a science of comedy theme. And so we're gonna have stand-up performances. We'll be doing improv. Again, a great multi-use space. Now talking about destinations with the Primo. And you know, I, I think this is this is really kind of fascinating because normally when you bring out a brand new ship, you typically position her in one spot and you put her in that spot and she stays there for the entire year or at least for seasons. With the Prima, we're really doing almost an inaugural tour. And so we're starting here in Europe and then we're bringing here to North America and then we're back to Europe and some really neat itineraries. So let me talk about a, 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 some of the highlights first. Now, this is, this is sort of at the end of her inaugural tour, but I'm putting this first because quite frankly, we get asked about it so much. We are putting a ship in Texas. So from the end, winter 23 into 24, she's going to be offering seven-day voyages to the Western Caribbean out of Galveston. And the really neat thing with this is take a look at that itinerary. This is the most port-intensive itinerary out of Texas. So we've got, we start off with a day at sea. We're then in for eight straight hours into Costa Maya. We then move to, to Harvest Keen, Belize, and we're there for the full day. We're then into Roatan um, uh, with essentially, again, a full day. And then Cozumel for a full day before a day at sea and then back to Texas. So not only do you get those great Mexican Belize itineraries, you get our private island experience with, with uh, Harvest Key, all in a seven-day itinerary. This is, a, as I mentioned, extremely port intensive. And having a brand new ship like the Norwegian Prima based out of Galveston, that is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. We have never had a brand new ship sailing as long as the Prima is going to be sailing out of Galveston ever. So for those of you on the West Coast, for those of you obviously in Texas, any of the Rocky Mountain states, the Midwest, Western or Central Canada, this is a great alternative for your clients. Imagine for your clients in, in Seattle that only have to fly to Galveston instead of all the way to, to Miami to experience a true Caribbean cruise. So for those of you who don't have group space yet, and I know group space sold very quickly on this, get in on this now because again, I've, although it's not until winter 23, interest is really, really high. Now, when we first bring out the ship, we're doing a number of neat new itineraries, as I mentioned, and this is just a sample of a great 10-day itinerary that we're doing from Reykjavik to Southampton. And if you take a look at this itinerary, what I really like about it, I mean, as we all know, Iceland is really popular, it's really hot right now. We're not just going to Reykjavik. We're actually also going to two other ports before heading across. So we're going to, Isa Fjordur, and I apologize for mangling that. Aikieri, I think I got that one a little bit better. Before heading to three stops in Norway and
And it looks like we just lost Derek. Um, if everybody can just hang on for a second, I think they are working to get him back. If anybody has thought of any questions, now is a great time to put them into the questions module of the chat. Right now. I'll try turning it on. Test, test, test. Okay, Anna, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Welcome back. Okay. I'm not sure whether my microphone died or what, but okay. All right, we're back on. Well, that's good because I was actually just about to move into the next segment anyway. Um, but what I will what I will say is again, for any of you who are interested in sailing on the Prima, the best way to do it is to take out group space. We are finding agents, our, our travel partners are having a lot of success with the sail with me type groups. So pick an itinerary that you like and then get your friends, your family, your customers to come with you. Um, if you go to NorwegianCentral.com, uh, you'll actually be able to see all the itineraries. And speaking of NorwegianCentral.com, except I cannot click now. And speaking of NorwegianCentral.com. Okay. Um, and Sorry, <laughs> Derek, really quickly. It seems like we can't see your webcam anymore either. So if you want to just turn that off and we'll just be able to see the presentation. Okay, so maybe the camera completely. Can you hear me still though? Yep, we can hear you. Okay, so if I'm not on camera, I'm going to move my chair. Okay, so speaking of NorwegianCentral.com, I want to talk to you now about all of the resources available to us. So we've got, we've got, as you can see, the building blocks there. We've got a ton of different resources that are available to you to take advantage of. And it all comes down to NorwegianCentral.com. So everything that you need is available at this site. So I really, really hope that you're all familiar with it because NorwegianCentral.com, it's got essentially everything. You've got NCLU, which has got our brand new Norwegian Prima pages with courses, our videos, our travel advisor guides. I cannot emphasize how important it is for you guys to, to, to be aware of those. And also the other thing that we're, we find you know, it's funny, we, we go to, was that cruise, we were at a bunch of different conferences, et cetera, and, and so many people don't know about marketing headquarters. And I can't tell you how important marketing headquarters is because we have got a ton of resources in there. If you need images, if you need banner ads, if you need Facebook posts, if you need flyers, group flyers, customized group flyers, it's all in marketing headquarters. So I'd really, really, really suggest that you get familiar with it because it is a great, great way for everything that you need to promote your groups. We've also, of course, got the ability of accessing our booking engine from within there. And NCL chat, if you've got a quick question, you know, you just need to know one quick thing about one restaurant aboard the ship, use NCL chat. Our response time on that is incredibly fast. And rather than picking up the phone, even though we've got a four second hold time, rather than picking up the phone, you can sort of multitask and use that NCL chat. And then of course, make sure you're connecting with us on Facebook and VR webinars. So this is marketing headquarters that I mentioned to you. So on marketing headquarters, again, please make use of this. We've got everything that you could possibly need. It's easy, easy, easy to navigate. We've got the toolkits. We've got the e-brochures. We've got all of these flyers, flyers and reference materials. So if there's a sale coming up, and I'm going to talk to you about the sale coming up in a second, if you want to be able to promote it, you want to go into marketing headquarters and you'll have everything you need to promote our upcoming black friday sale everything so again i have to say 
Use it, use it, use it. Please go in there regularly. It's updated all the time. Now, some of you may have seen in the screen behind me that was on earlier, um, talking about our Partners First 10 year anniversary. Now, what, what, what really is that? So Partners First, this is, this is really our investment in you. 10 years ago, we announced Partners First. And what that essentially is, is a recognition of you, of being, you know, quite frankly, critical to our business. We need you. We absolutely need you to explain the benefits of Norwegian Cruise Line to your clients. And, you know, some of the things that we do to, 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 um, uh, uh, to recognize that is, and I mentioned it before, a four-second answer time. That doesn't happen by accident. We invested millions of dollars to make sure that we're fully staffed, that our staff are fully trained, and that they're there to pick up the phone. This is on purpose. We want to be able to pick up the phone as soon as you call, answer your questions, make a booking so that you're not sitting on hold. We recognize that that's a major frustration and we wanna make sure that we're there for you as soon as you need us. We continue to communicate via email, Facebook webinars. Um, I'm gonna be talking to you about our upcoming um, Metro meeting series this week that I hope that you're all signed up for. And if not, I'll show you how. And you know, it's all about, again, demonstrating to you that you are absolutely critical to, to, uh, uh, to our success. We could not be where we are without your, without your support and we appreciate it. Now, talking about sales. Now, our Black Friday sale. Now, originally we were gonna do this as a preview just for our Latitudes member, but it's such a good deal. We decided to launch it to everybody today. So our Black Friday sale is our greatest deal ever. It is 70% off the second guess, plus seven free offers with a value of up to $4,250. What's included in the seven free offers? Free open bar, free specialty dining, free shore excursions, free Wi-Fi, free extra third and fourth guests on, on select sailings, free air for the second guest, and a free $250. This is, again, you know, another, another way of showing you how much we value and understand you is things like this. We do not want to be selling 299 cruises. We are trying to maintain pricing integrity. That's good all around, quite frankly. As soon as you drop prices, to be able to get it back to reasonable levels takes years. And when you drop prices, that also means that you're dropping commission. We don't wanna do that. So we're adding more to your guests to give you the ability of selling the value because essentially when you're looking at open bar, specialty dining excursions, and it's built into the price, that means that we're basically paying you commission on all of that. I don't know about you, but I think this is a great time to be focusing on products that provide value for your clients. Now, I mentioned our Metro meetings. This is an annual series of meetings that we do. This year, we are gonna be doing them virtual. Um, uh, last year, we did the week of you. I want you, so this is November 17th and 18th, tomorrow and Thursday. And what's, what's really kind of, uh, so first of all, make sure you note, note the uh, registration link down at the bottom. So nclmetromeetings.com. So for one, if you attend, we're gonna give you an opportunity to win a free Norwegian Prima inaugural cruise. But we're doing multiple sessions here, and I think it's really important that we've got six different sessions. Some of them are product focused. Some of them are actually, we brought in third party speakers. So one of them will be talking about the power of storytelling with a very, with a very heavy slant towards social media and how to tell the story of, 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 of travel. Another, and this is the one on Thursday, we're actually how to become your client's travel advisor for life. We don't want you, and we don't want your clients to think of you as simply the person that booked you on this last trip. We want them to refer to you as their travel advisor. 
And Geraldine Re, an industry veteran, is going to be, and I'll be with Geraldine, talking to you about how to become that travel advisor for life. We're doing a leadership panel uh, where we're going to have, we're going to be taking questions from all of you, saying, you know, and this will be myself and Glenn Rothy and Todd Hamilton, uh, uh, Jennifer West, all of the executive team at Norwegian. So if you have questions for us, this is the opportunity. Again, go to nclmetromeetings.com. There's six hours of content broken into six different sessions. You can pick and choose which sessions are best for you. So it's, it's, it's up to you. Now, I think we are over to the Q&A section. And I did it almost 40 minutes, Anna. I think that's not too bad. Perfect. And we do have some questions coming in. I invite everybody to keep them coming. Our first question is from Morris, who is wondering if you will be opening up more five-day cruises from New Orleans other than just in December. Um, we're always looking at new cruises, new itineraries. Um, you know, the, with a five-day out of, out of New Orleans, there can be some challenges there in terms of the itinerary. It, you get into somewhat off days in terms of, you know, the seven-day is good because you can do weekend to weekend. But it's something we're definitely evaluating. And, and part of it is we look at how do, uh, when we do have them, how are the sales? Are we able to maintain a, a price that's good for everybody? Um, but I'd love to. I think New Orleans is such a fabulous port to cruise from. Okay, got it. And we have several comments, actually, that Norwegian service is the best, so that is always great to hear. Fantastic. Our next, yes, our next question is from Richard, who is wondering if all of the great freebies already offered by Norwegian will be available on Prima as well. Um, all of, in terms of the free at sea, absolutely. Um, I fully, uh, 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 our free at sea program is um, the seven offers, for example, that we've got on uh, the Black Friday sale applicable to Prima. Um, our free at sea program, 100%, is, is it's a fleet wide inclusion as opposed to a temporary promotion. Uh, so the core level of free at sea, 100% is, is on Prima. Okay, great. And we have several people raving about the Black Friday sale and wondering if they already have clients that have booked, is it possible to get these clients the value that they would have gotten if they had booked on Black Friday sales? Uh, what I would do is recommend calling into our reservation department. Um, if the pricing hasn't changed, it can often be just simply rebooked. Okay, perfect. This next question is from Kevin, who is wondering if there will be a Spice H2O on the Prima. Is there a Spice H2O on the Prima? Uh, yeah, I, that's something that I can't say yet. Um, with the Prima, we're launching, um, we're announcing uh, features of the ship in, in individual portions. So at this point in time, we've talked about Decade and some of the great things on Decade. We just recently we talked about the entertainment and the upper decks with the Speedway, etc. There are still more announcements to come. Okay, we'll look forward to those. Uh, da, da, da. Our next question is from Valerie, who is wondering if you are planning to have a seminar at sea soon. <laughs> We're having conversations about that now. So, um, so, so one thing with the Norwegian Prima, we are going to be doing introductory cruises uh, throughout North America. I think New York, Miami, uh, and and Galveston, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so make sure that um, you connect with your sales manager. Um, I'm hoping to see seminars at sea as we're still relaunching ships. We're evaluating capacity and occupancy levels, et cetera. So it's a little tough to commit right now. The one thing I would recommend is if you go into NCLU, we do talk about our reduced rate program. We have had significantly reduced rates across multiple sailings. Um, but again, go into, go into the reduced rate sailing for all the details. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Morris, and I believe you said this earlier, but the question is, do guests have to show proof of vaccination in 2022? So as of what we announced recently was we have extended our vaccination policy indefinitely. So our vaccination policy is 100% vaccination. 
So the reason why we did that versus sort of announcing it a bit at a time is to allow you and your clients to future plan. So yes, for all sailings in 2022, again, in, indefinitely, um, uh, vaccination will be required and will be uh, a proof of vaccination will also be required. Okay, got it. And I think just one more COVID question from Tammy, uh, who is wondering if guests will be tested for COVID when they return. Um, so we do not we do not require that um, every and this can vary. I should say this can vary by itinerary. As it currently stands, for the majority of our sailings, we do not. Um, require guests to test before they step off of the ship. Now, there are some uh, exceptions where, for example, if we've got somebody sailing on a Miami ship and they're flying back to Canada where uh, proof of a negative test is required, we actually are providing that on board, but it's not something that everybody has to do. We do have the ability of testing on board, and um, if somebody wants to have a test, they can go and talk to uh, 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 talk to guest services on board. I believe there there would be a charge in that case, though. Okay, got it. And we do just have one follow up question um, from Cynthia: How will the one hundred percent vaccination requirement affect children under the age of five? Uh, it. it Again, it's 100% vaccination. So unfortunately, at the moment, that means that there are certain certain um, uh, parts of our clients uh, clientele that we cannot um, uh, uh, we cannot have uh, sailing with us. Hopefully, that'll change at some point in time in the future. But right now, it's 100% without exception. Okay, got and, it. And I and would say, if you if you go to ncl.com/slash/sailsafe. Uh, that's where all of those details are. So it lists the specific, the vaccines that are required, the protocols that are accepted, et cetera. Because uh, again, when you're looking at WHO, EMA, CDC, et cetera, there can be, there can be some minor differences, but again, ncl.com slash sales safe. Perfect. And we have just two more questions. Our first one is from Deanna, who is wondering, what is the general demographic on board the Prima? Is it a good family ship and good for every age group? Um, you know, that's one of the things, for one, it's a little hard to answer um, as to what are the demographics because we're not sailing yet. Um, I fully expect that we will have uh, a similar demographic to the rest of our ships. Um, but of course, that varies by destination. You know, when you're looking at a sailing that goes from Reykjavik to Southampton and it's 10 days long, probably less kids. Uh, Galveston, seven days, sun and fun, Caribbean, I expect will have, uh, you know, a lot of families on board. As you saw with some of the some of the features and entertainment I was showing with the water, with the slides and with the Galaxy Pavilion and the Speedway, et cetera, those are great for the family market. So I would I would say it's probably gonna be pretty similar to our, our, our uh, demographics on the rest of our fleet. Okay, that makes sense. And this is our last question from Jennifer. I'm not sure you'll be able to answer this, but let's give it a go. Jennifer is wondering if you are planning to bring a ship to Maryland soon. Oh, great question, Jennifer. You know, it's one of those, because it's been a little while, you know, our last ship that we brought out was in the fall of, of 2019. We're now bringing out the Prima classes of ships. As we bring those out, as we increase our, our ships from 17 to 23 over six years, we're going to be looking at all sorts of different itineraries. And where, you know, right now we might have our jewel class ships, we might be able to bring some of our breakaway or prima class ships, and that might free up the jewel class ships to go to other ports of embarkation that we haven't done previously. So while I don't know of any specific plans for Maryland, um, uh, we're always looking for the ability of doing uh, 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 different uh, ports. Okay, and those are all of our questions. So thank you so much everybody for joining us and thank you Derek and Norwegian team for all of that information. All right, fantastic, thank you very much. Have a great rest of your week everybody.